Police have charged Jamal Griggs with a Wilmington murder more than 14 months after the crime happened. Griggs faces a first degree murder charge for the death of Shelton Long, who police found dead along the side of River Road in November of 2021. WECT Zach Solon talked with Long's family today about their long search for justice in this case. Now, Zach, Long's mother said she never lost hope of police making an arrest. That's right, John. Pamela Long says she's relieved to hear that police have arrested someone they believe is responsible for taking her son's life. But she knows the road to justice is a lengthy one. 440 days after Shelton Long was shot and killed along River Road in Wilmington, police have charged the man they believe is responsible for his death. Long's mother, Pamela, says she is relieved to hear the news, but knows it won't bring her son back. I can't really celebrate it because if I celebrate it, it's like, I know he's gone and he's not coming back, but if I celebrate this, it's like, he's, he's really gone. He's not gonna pull up in the yard. He's not gonna FaceTime me. He's not gonna text me. He's not gonna call. Jamal Griggs is charged with first degree murder. He was already in custody in Edgecombe County on a federal gun charge. Court documents describe him as a validated gang member with a violent criminal history. Long's grandmother wonders why anyone wanted to hurt him. I don't know if anybody in Shelton's ever intentionally hurt. He was not a violent person and he was had a heart as big as gold and he wanted everybody to be happy. A mother still searching for closure. It's the beginning of justice. So once we have that conviction, then that, that's, that's gonna make a big difference because with him not being here, I can't, you know, it's, you can't really say anything because we didn't have, you know, we didn't have any answers. Hoping those answers are closer to coming to light. Anybody that knew Shelton would tell you he lived his life. The only thing he was cut short of was growing old because he lived his life to the fullest. Pamela Long tells me she plans to follow the court process so she can try and learn more about what happened to her son. Zach Solon, WECT News.